Well, we couldn't stop them, and they could stop us. I mean, we, we didn't do anything at either end of the court, I didn't think. And, um, you know, I was just talking on the radio, and it was like, we lost some guys last year. That, that was obvious. But um, usually what you see in college basketball is guys graduate, and some of the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, who've deferred to the sort of stars, um, then it's their turn, and they go from averaging six or eight points a game, and then the next year it's 14 or 16. And they say, where'd that guy come from? Well, he's been playing for a couple years, and now he's, he's the man, so to speak, or um, has a bigger role, and um, really haven't had anyone fill that role. Really haven't had anyone fill the role of a guy who's, you know, he's our guy. You know who the guy is on Lehigh. You know, almost every team you go through, you say, that's the guy, you got to stop that guy. And who, who do you say that here, you know? Um, who, who's our guy? If we got hurt, it would change things. You know, I don't know who that is. And uh, that's, that's um, discouraging or disappointing that we haven't been able to get a guy to sort of fill that role. And, and you need that when, you know, you get a little drought on offense. And so, I mean, not when you're down 20, but when you're down six, it seems to be going their way. Who's the guy that's going to come through for you? And, again, we had a little spurt there at the end of the first half. And, but, you know, it's so easy when you're down 18 to score. Now when it's down to eight, we got it to eight, I think. Did we get to eight? Nine. Nine. And, uh, you know, then I think they ran 10 zip on us or something. So, you know, it, you got to get it going. When, and we've said this before about this team. Um, you know, we just, it, it's, it seems like it's a struggle. You know, we didn't turn the ball over today um, for too many runouts or anything, but we just were very soft defensively. We got to work on our defense. I mean, our defense hasn't been as good as it should be. And we've been turning, like the last couple games, I think Coach said before the game, we've had like, like 13, 15 turnovers, and I don't know how many had to play, but that's something we had to work on. Yeah, so that, that's something we had to work on. We, we did better today, but we didn't get enough stops. Teams are shooting well against us, and so you say it's the defense, but you're, you're, the offense, which I thought would be, you know, a lot better than at this point than it is now, um, you know, it just doesn't come along. It really hasn't. I mean, I'm very happy when Eric is back, you know, and Chris is out. He's finished, okay? And those two guys would have helped a lot because there's some athleticism there, and you can see that, um, you know, we struggle to keep to stay in front of guys, you know, just team speed. And those two guys would have made a difference. But you got Eric back, so I'm just going to, just the last few days, he's played pretty well in practice, and he doesn't get tired right away. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that he can, uh, you know, help us. I missed my first couple threes that rimmed out, but then I, I've just always been, you keep shooting, just keep shooting. And then they finally started going, and then we went inside a little bit, and I was making some moves, got some fouls, got some free throws. Which, if you make shots, it's going to help a lot. I saw Benzin play pretty well today, which was good. Good to see. You know, sort of like taking over the role a little bit. He talks. Okay, that's, that's, that's a big step on this squad. And, um, and Eric. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to be optimistic about that and just get the guys to bring some energy because I was, I was worn out just from looking at my own team. Mm -hmm.